going on guys to off here welcome back to some more jurassic world last time we left off we planned out extending the t-rex cage over here as well as the uh, the little fish tank over here whatever it's called the orthocan not the orthocanthuses but the tyrosauruses and the uh the coelacanths we're working on the expansion like planning it out and then i even asked you guys like what should we name our little donkeys and our little mule over there and i do have some names unfortunately i'm just short of being able to name three of them so uh, i think we have three donkeys and one mule so one of them is going to be unnamed for right now so let's just do the traditional go down here to get a little bit of levels and uh ooh, there's even fossils right there we don't really need that all right well there's a little bit of coal right here i guess i'll be grabbing that going all the way up to fifth Hey, there we go, 15 levels. We should be able to name three name tags now. I think what I'm going to do is name a mule and then two donkeys. And then later, if I ever go up to five levels, I'll name the last donkey. But I guess I'll expose what name the donkeys are going to be for right now. So I got a lot of comments like one of them was actually a lot of them were like, name one of the donkeys donkey from Shrek. So I guess I'll name one of them donkey from Shrek. Uh, do we have enough name? Yeah, we have enough name tags. No problem. There we go. And uh, I think another one was like Eeyore from like Winnie the Pooh, so I guess we'll name another one Eeyore. And then Eddie Murphy, you know, the guy who played the donkey from Shrek, so I guess we'll name Eddie Murphy. Is it an E at the... I think it's an... I think, I think there's no E. Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, uh, actually, you know what, let's put one name tag there just so we don't name three of them at once. Uh, Eddie Murphy... Gotta stop putting an E at the end. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, of course, we need to name the mule. I don't want to leave that one unnamed. So, so I got a lot of names, you know, similar to Brownie, like Cookie and Coco and stuff like that, and Chocolate Chip. I don't know which one I want. I kind of like Cookie because it's nice and short. It's not like Chocolate Chip where it's like three syllables like that. So I think I'll go for Cookie. For oh, that's three O's. <laughs> cookie for the donkey, and then we'll have another one for or the mule, and then we'll have another one for the donkey. Which one should we name it now? Uh, we just named it, uh, let, let's do it Donkey. Yeah, there you go. So we have Eddie Murphy, Donkey, and Cookie the Mule. So let's go name those guys real quick. Ooh, I need to eat some baked potatoes. Actually, I've been trying to eat these Pam's Harvest Craft. You might have seen this at the end of last episode. I've been trying to eat all these Pam's Harvest Craft food just to clear out a little bit of space in my food chest. So let's go over here. Let's check out our three donkeys and our one mule so let's see eddie murphy you're going to be eddie murphy there you go and donkey there you go and cookie the mule all right look at that so i also got some comments saying that i should bring uh skyrim horse over here but you know i i don't know i kind of feel like you know since these are mules I, maybe we should make a stable for them huh i don't know a stable or even like a pasture or something you know because they feel out of place in this little, what used to be a little pen for cows and stuff, right? They're a villager with a little, little blow-up pool toy thing on his head. <laughs> God, that looks so stupid. Anyways, uh, I didn't get too, too much pro- I guess we can go take Skyrim Horse to the T-Rex expansion. I can show you guys a little bit of progress I've been doing. I also asked you guys if I should use clear, blue, or regular glass for the- for the for the water dinosaur expansion i don't know why i keep hesitating right there but anyways let's hop this fence and uh, i got a lot of comments saying i should use clear glass for the actual like uh aquariums and stuff and then do what i did over here where i have blue glass for the the walkway so if i have another walkway over here i'll use blue glass for that and i'll have to use blue glass on the inside of the actual uh, aquarium here as well so i think i'm going to do that i got a lot of comments uh, suggesting the the clear glass so i'll do that and i'll most likely try to get a bunch of sponges and replace all this regular glass with some clear glass in the future i'll probably do that on my own as well i didn't get too too much progress done over here terraforming the land uh what i did was i pretty much just mined out a bunch of this this dirt hardened sand and red sand and stuff like that put a lot of the stuff inside this chest my my inventory got completely filled up so i had to make a chest and just put all the stuff inside the chest and uh, i think i'm going to keep on working on this thing off camera and then hopefully by next episode we'll have a t-rex expansion in the works and i do of course plan on terraforming this little bit right here to connect that over there to this over here make it a lot smoother and uh i guess i could connect yeah i guess i could terraform this little little inlet right here as well and even uh bring that wall up a little bit hmm yeah because we're gonna have a walkway right there and if it goes down a little bit that'd be kind of weird because all the di all the t-rexes would be all the way up here you know so yeah i'm gonna need 
you know, that is a lot of materials over here. That should be able to cover terraforming all this. And I haven't even finished. We, have, we still have a lot of stuff over here at the terraform. I have to terraform all this here in the middle. And that should be way more than enough to actually, you know what? Let's see. Does this hardened sand float? Can I get some of this hardened sand? Break it. Break it. What the? There you go. Obsidian Paxel. Let's break it. And does it? Oh, whoops. That's not, that's not the right place to put it. Uh, put it that. Okay, it floats. Okay, so I could use it to terraform and then have a hollow center here. So I could just uh, have this, you know, completely normal. And then I'll just build a bridge like right here with a one block bridge. And uh, no one will know the difference. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I got some comments saying, hey, you have a mandolin uh, cleaver now. Why don't you upgrade your hammer and your excavator? And I thought, wow. Why don't I just do that? And I also realized that while I was terraforming over there, you know, this excavator is getting pretty slow as well as the hammer a little bit too. So let's see if we have any extra mandolin in it. And uh, let's see, where is it? Did we use all? I think we, yeah, I think we used all of it. Where is all the ardite? Yeah, yeah, there's some ardite right there. Lapis, emeralds. Uh, what do we need? We need uh, cobalt. Yep, there you go. Cobalt and a little bit of more ardite. And I think we just combine it inside of here, right? Side of a crafting station. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go up to, I don't know, 24 sounds. Uh, 25. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to make the number I say out loud. Uh, let's go through that inside of the redstone furnace. Let's get those nice and cooking. And let's go check and see if we have all the casts we need for the hammer and the excavator. I think you just need a regular tool rod as well as like a hammer head and large plates for the hammer. So, yeah, we have large plates. And we have tough rod and tool rod. And we have... There's the hammer head right there. And the excavator head. Okay, I think we have everything we need. So let's get the excavator head. Hammer head. Uh, the large plate. And the... I don't know if it was tool rod or tough rod. But I'll grab both of them just in case. So there we go. Sword blade cast. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't think we'll need any of those. Alright, so our stuff should be close to being done right now. We can go to the tool table and see exactly what we need. So I don't overmake or undermake all the tools that we need to make these uh, upgraded masterpieces. So let's see. Uh, where is it? This one right here. Yep. Uh, this is the excavator, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, okay, we need that little X binding cast thing for the excavator. And I assume we might need... I don't think we need it for the hammer, right? I don't remember it. Yeah, we don't need it for hammer. We just need two of the... Okay. And what is that? Is that a, is that a regular tool rod? Yeah, no, that's a tough rod. Okay, that's good. So our stuff... Yep, yep, yep. Mandolin is done. Let's go over there and let's go throw all this stuff inside the smeltery, let that melt down, and then we can pour it inside the cast and get ourselves some really dank aroonies. Hammer and excavator. Excavator. Not excavator. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get the, not this one, but uh, we need to get this one, the tough rod binding cast, and we need to go place these down over here. So four, one, two, three, and four. Oh, okay, we need to go over here too. So there we go. And was that the tough rod I just grabbed? Yeah, that's the tough rod. Okay, that looked like a regular tool rod right there. All right, it's the mandolin done. Almost done. Halfway done right now. So I think I'm going to wait, and I'll see you guys here in a second once it's done. All right, it seems to be done. Let's go get that mandolin all done, and let's pour them into these casts. Now, we do need two of the, the tough rod as well as the large plate. I don't know if we have enough stuff. Uh, looks like all the mandolins are already completely out. Yeah, 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 look at that. Uh, that one's not done, that's, that one's not filled up. That one's filled up. Uh, ooh, yeah, we need way more mandolin. Okay, so we need to go get some more mandolin, so... Man, uh, ooh, wait a second, do we have a cobalt and ardite in our... Where do, you, where do we put it? Is it still in that... I think it's still in the... Is it still in the crafting station down here? I thought we put it back in our inventory. Hmm, well, either way... Where is it? Did I really... Did I put it up? I don't remember putting it up. Man, I have such bad short-term memory. It's not in here. Oh, wait, yeah, it is right there. Wow. Wow, I'm stupid sometimes. <laughs> Gee. All right, let's get some more of this. Uh, you know what? Let's go back up to 20. Uh, pff, 21, of course. <laughs> I don't go to the number I'd say out loud. All right, uh, Manolin, we need to put that up there. We need to go mine some more Ardite. So uh, if I do go back to the Nether, I need to go get it to mine some more Ardite. So let's go through that into the Redstone first. Get that one in the Redstone first as well. Let's cut that in half. Cut both those in half. Get them... Nice and cooked a lot fat. Ooh, there's steak inside here. I was cooking. Nice. Is there anything? Oh, whoa. Baked potatoes, too. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like seeing stuff I just leave inside the furnaces. It's like a little Chris miniature Christmas whenever I come in here and see these surprises. So let's grab that. Mantle is done. And a mantle is done. All right. Let's go throw them back into a smeltery. And let's get our tools nice and made. We're going to get some really cool... We're going to have a 
not a completely matching purple set of tools because our obsidian baxel isn't quite the same shade of purple as our mandolin cleaver and the the mandolin hammer and the excavator we're going to have here in a little bit but it's going to be pretty close anyways i'm going to see you guys here in a bit once all the tools are done and we can go craft these amazingly epic purple tools so I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, everything is done. Let's go down here. Let's go down to the tool forge and let's get these tools nice and made. Now, we could have, imp uh, of course, improved these by like mixing and matching different materials. Of course, I know, I know, but I like having everything made out of one material. It's nice and easy to repair if we ever need to repair it. We do. Whoa, 26,000 durability. Are you kidding me? 3.6 minus speed, 2.4. Okay, so a little bit faster. The effective durability is essentially 10 times, yeah, look at that, 10 times, the durability is 10 times what the iron one is, are you kidding me? And we we didn't have to really repair the iron one too, too much. So let's get ourselves the excavator now, so we have the little X thing right there. Uh, oh, we needed a third? Ooh, ouch, I didn't know we needed a third one for the excavator, whoopsie daisy, I need to go make another large plate real quick. Hopefully I have enough mandolin, I think I have only like five mandolin left over. Ooh, five mandolin. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if it's enough. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have any Ardite down here? Not like anywhere? Ardite? Is there Ardite ore inside of here somewhere? Uh, Netherrack? Yeah, I'm not seeing it inside of here. Uh, Mithril ore? I don't need that garbage. Get that out of here, haters. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more Ardites out of here. Wow. Okay, so if we want more, we need to go back to the nether. We can't just place it next to another spawn, unfortunately. Oh my god, there's so many emeralds. <laughs> jeez. And whoa, whoa, look at all that lapis lazuli. Whoa, gee, man. Let's just uh, let's just make a lapis block right real quick. Is it out of nine? Yeah, it is now nine. Okay, let's make a more lapis blocks. God, 54 lapis blocks. You kidding me? Gee. <laughs> All right, let's make some more emerald blocks. Man, that's insane. Okay, well, our excavator isn't quite mandolin just yet. We need a little bit more. I guess we can go to the nether sometime soon. Maybe not like right right now, but maybe sometime soon we can get ourselves way more ardite and stuff like that. I guess I could go throw this mandolin inside. How does he keep escaping? How does this security guard keep escaping? Really? Wow! Okay, let's put the five mail inside of there. Let's see if that's anywhere near enough. I think it's like close to like a stack. Or not a stack. God, that's a lot. <laughs> like nine or so. I think it's somewhere close to like nine or ten uh, ingots to equal one large plate or something like that. Now, you better stay inside of there. I really just want to like stand here and just see how he escapes, you know? I don't know if he like glitches through the fences or something, or if he just jumps on top of a block and just jumps on the fence and then he escapes like that. I don't know if that's what he does, but you better stay inside there, security. This place isn't very secure when you're literally outside. <laughs> All right, well, let's check up on our mainland. Let's see. Uh, oh, we need to get the large plate out of the chest and see if that is enough to get ourselves another large plate for our excavator. So let's see, the mainland is done. Let's get that on the bottom. And I don't think it's anywhere near enough. 144 is one ingot, I think. So it's going to go, yeah, yeah, 720, okay, yeah. Looks like we're like, uh, what is that, like two or three, three, four ingots away. So it is, yeah, it's about close to nine ingots, like I said earlier. So uh, we're not going to quite have the MLG excavator we were hoping for. But I guess real quick, wow, we already have the MLG hammer, mandolin hammer. We can test that thing out, see how good it is. Now, I don't know, it says it's a little bit faster than the iron one. I don't really feel the fastest right now. I know we could put like a, I think redstone to put on this thing to get it a better mining speed, but mining speed isn't really that bad for me, you know? It's not necessarily fast. It's not like, okay, well maybe the obsidian packs wasn't quite as fast. It still needs to be enchanted up to like uh, efficiency five and like a breaking five like we had in End of Earth, but uh, it's not necessarily bad. And especially because the excavator, it breaks like sand and dirt and stuff like that, which is naturally already easy to break. That, I don't think I need to put redstone on that either, but right now, I, I really do like these tools. If anything, I just need to repair the, uh, the excavator a little bit, because we do have... Didn't I have, like, iron block? Yeah, I have, like, straight up iron blocks inside of here. Gee, <laughs> man, we need to like, repair that, because we've been using it over there for the terraforming, so... Uh, ooh, there's mandolin stuff inside of here. Let's get the forge like so. Get the excavator like so. And there we go. All right, nice. It's all nice and repaired. And let's get that excavator back up on screen. So there we go. We're still just... Oh, wait. Uh, Wait, what? Do we just... 
Oh, we put that. Got it. Just <laughs> just shift clicks into the wrong things. All right. Well, everything is nice and repaired. Pretty much up to full health. And you know what? Something that I have I mentioned a while ago, and I've been getting more and more comments lately, is that we should make a modular power suit. I've been I haven't gotten comments saying that we should make a modular power suit directly. I've just been getting comments saying, hey, you should make a like make a jetpack like you had in End of Earth, which is basically what we had in End of Earth. Uh, we had something called a simple jetpack. I don't think that's in this mod pack. Simple. Yeah, it's not inside of here. So we have to go straight, straight to the modular power suit. Now, modular. Now, to make a modular power suit, uh, modular power suit, we need to make a uh, tinker table thing, which, you know what? That's not that bad. One emerald, two electrum, machine frame, and a redstone transmission coil, which is just silver. That's cheap. Do we have any spare? Yeah, we have a, a silver right there. Do we have any electrum? That's aluminum brass. Oh, up there we go. Electrum right there. And we need like one emerald. I saw that. Uh, what else do we need? Machine frame, which is just tin and iron and glass. No problem. We have like literally 55 blocks of iron in our inventory, just casually just in our inventory right now. So we need that and we need tin. Do we have any spare tin inside here? Yeah, there's a little bit of tin right there and tin right there as well. And iron right there. And we need some glass. Let's grab, uh, there's extra clear glass right there. Do we have any extra glass blocks? Yeah, we have some blue stain we could use. Alright, so let's make the machine- Oh wait, we need to make the tin gear first, so there's that. And I think we need more iron for the actual machine frame itself. So there we go. Uh, there's the machine frame. And let's get the redstone- Oh wait, we didn't grab redstone. Uh, oh, I just saw a villager outside. He was, he was watching me. I saw that. Don't act like I didn't see it there, villager. And let's get that redstone transmission coil, the two electrum, the one emerald, and the machine frame. And now we have a power armor tanker table. All right, so where should we put this thing? I don't know. Huh. We have like literally no room over here. <laughs> I guess we could put it down in the lab or something. Yeah, we can put it down here, no problem. Oh, uh, we still need to use this inscriber for something, you know? Uh, I guess we can get rid of the... There, yeah, there's nothing inside of them. Okay. We get rid of these. I think the tinker table thing takes up like... Two or three spots, so let's just get that like that. Is it two? Oh, it's just one. Okay. Okay, that's like really easy. Okay. So we also need to make the actual power armor itself, which includes wiring, which is a lot of silver and copper. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just wiring and uh, iron. Okay. And of course, we can make a power glove, which we need one more electron, which we just used the last of our electron to make the tinker table itself. So let's go up here. Let's grab that digital mire and. Still has one million energy in it. Look at that little one pixel of red inside of that thing. That is one million energy right there. Gee, it makes it look like it's nothing. Okay, well, wind turbines, we can grab those. Uh, we can just set it outside to mine. Like, I'm pretty sure we didn't set it to mine any silver or anything recently. So we just set it to mine like silver. We'll be good to go. So there's that. It's plugged in. And let's get the windmills like so. There, 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 and there. And let's plug it in. So there, 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 there. All right, so this thing's nice and working now. We can go to the config, and we don't need lapis. Yeah, we don't need lapis. We can get rid of that one. Uh, all right, I, I want to keep that one in there so we can go back to the nether. New filter, item stack, or dictionary, or silver. Let's see if that, yep, 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 there we go. All right, and is that it? Uh, we need copper, right? I think we need copper too, so let's, uh, or copper. And that should detect all the copper ores as well. So there we go. And let's, uh, silk touch. Ah, should it be silk touch? Do you get anything, uh, extra from having a, like a copper ingot? Copper ingot. Or, uh, copper ore. Yeah, let's type in copper ore. There it is right there. Do you get, uh, double anythings? Double copper dust or anything like that? I don't, yeah, I'm not seeing. Oh, wait, uh, usage is not recipe. Uh, double, yeah, eh, yeah, it's not really, ah, you do get the copper ore anyways from the silk touch, so what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> we can just turn off silk touch, save of course a ton of energy, and uh, wow, this thing's already mining silver like it's nothing. So there you go, 11, 1200, pretty much 1200 ores that it's mining right now. Man, that's a lot. Alright, well, I guess we'll just leave that running for a little while, and uh, I'll see you guys here in a bit once we, oh, whoa, whoa, whoops. I have that secondary minimap up on the screen again. Whoops, I didn't realize that. Anyways, I'll let this thing run for a little while and we can get ourselves a bunch of ores and then we can get to making these insane power armor things. And of course, uh, let's go to modular power suit uh, suits again. Power suits. 
or we want to need to make these other like things that we can upgrade our power suit with because if we get it like right now it has like no armor abilities it has no like weapons it, it doesn't have any energy or anything like that i don't think it does it might have a little bit of energy but we need to give it some really good. i think the hq hv capacitor thing is the most expensive Ooh, ouch that's expensive e ah although it's not too expensive i guess i just made one a little Ooh, it requires a how do you electrum is, is that gold and silver is that? Oh yeah, 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 gold and silver. Okay, so let's tell this thing to mine some gold as well. Uh, reset config. Uh, or gold. Let's get ourselves some shiny gold. There we go. And, oh, not that bad. It got about uh, 70 more gold. Oh, it's mining gold right now. Man, that's a lot of copper and stuff already. Gee, I guess we can just throw inside a smeltery right now and get that thing nice and cooking. So we already have gold inside there. We already have a little bit of copper as well. Uh, and I don't think it's going to mix with anything. So if we put the copper or the gold and all that inside there right now. Let that all smell. Get the double the ingots from that. I don't think any of it's going to mix and match just yet into Electrum. Uh, ooh, wait a second. Gold and silver does. Oh, that's going to get us a ton of Electrum. Ah, we already have a ton of gold. Yeah, we need the Electrum, so I don't even care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 62 ingots of Electrum. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. And we still have uh, 7 ingots of silver, too. Not bad at all. Huh. So as long as we don't put the gold back inside there... We're going to get exclusively silver from now on, so let's just do that real quick. Let's throw these inside there. Let's get the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I literally just said as long as I don't throw gold inside there. Whoopsie-daisy. <laughs> All right, so there you go. We have a, almost a stack of Electrum. So let's get that down here. One, two, three... Whoa, whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can do one, two, three, four, and five. Not six blocks. Then uh, how much is that going to be once this Electrum is run out and filled to the brim of all these blocks? I don't quite know. Uh, oh, yeah, I, f I totally forgot we had hoppers onto this thing, and it just auto, like, harvests it. So we, we can get one more, and we can get eight of these. One, two, three, four, five. And, God, I need to get that block, that big thing done. Five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. All right, we still need to get some more mandolin. I guess I can do that here in a bit. Go down to the nether, get some more Ardite and Cobalt, and of course finish our excavator, but that's not really a priority right now. We're getting tons of copper, tons of Ardite, or not Ardite, copper, ooh, wow, 144 ingots of copper, I'll get that, don't mind if I do, hater, don't mind if I do. Alright, well, I think I'm going to work here at the smeltery for a little while, let the digital miner do its thing, and uh, I'll see you guys, wow, it's not even eating up any of that energy, wow. Man, anyways, I'll see you guys here in a bit, and hopefully we'll be able to make the modular power suit, and maybe even some of these upgrades too, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, I mined everything here, and we have a ton, well not mined all of it, but I smelted everything here, and our smelter is getting pretty low on uh, lava, so I didn't want to do too much more, but we're up to 33 blocks of copper right now, 21 blocks! of silver and six blocks of electrum. I didn't make more electrum than we already have, so it's already a lot of electrum, but look at that! Man, this digital miner's crazy! 34 more silver or 64 plus 40 more copper or 140, and oh, whoa, whoa, not 140, but like 104, but man, look at that, we're already up to 110, man, and then 12 gold ore, just very quaint. 12 gold ore. I don't think there's very much gold on the ground. I don't think it's quite as uh, common as the silver and the copper. Copper the especially, because that thing is, man, that thing's all over the place. Do we still have all those iron blocks? I think we put the iron blocks up. Uh, let's see, let's grab that. And let's make ourselves the wiring that we'll need for this. Oh, we need to turn all these down back into ingots. So there you go. Get a few more ingots. And there we go. We need some electrum as well for the... Uh, what do we need it for? I don't remember what we need. Oh, yeah, we need it for this thing right here, which we need to make the... Yeah, 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 okay, so we need more hardened glass, and what did you need for that? Was it, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 you need more obsidian. That's what I upgraded the obsidian generator for. Okay, so what did, uh, what were we... Oh, yeah, we're making the wiring, so let's make some of that. Uh, whew, that's a lot of it. Oh, I don't think we're going to need very much more of that. But, uh, let's try and make the... Let's break this down. Break this iron back down into that. Let's make the helmet, so there's that. I don't want to make a billion helmets, I don't want to shift click that, so... There's that, there's the power armor itself. And, uh, this is going to get us some insane... Uh, the only downside, I guess, is we can't, like, open up the backpack like that. We have to use the knapsack in here, which is a little bit... It has one less row than the backpack, but I'm just too used to hitting B on my keyboard and getting the backpack open, so I'm going to have to get used to that. But here's the leggings. Let's get that, like, oh, whoops. Let's get that nice and crafted. There we go. And the feet. 
There we go. Oh yeah, didn't we need the Electro for the Power Fist too? I think we need it for that. So there's, uh, what do we need? Is this the feet? Yeah, 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 there we go. So there's a Power Armor feet. And there's the Power, yeah, 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 Power Glove. That's what needed it. So there we go. So we have everything we need. We just need to take off all of our armor, including our backpack. I guess we might as well, ooh, man, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's put up all the blocks and stuff in here. Get a little bit more inventory space. Uh, we can put up the diamond hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get all of our stuff off. All the armor. Throw it all inside of there. Garbage diamond armor. That's what that is. And then we can put the helmet on, the leggings, the feet, and you don't put the power fist on. You have to use that for something else. But, uh, eh, that's not really that much stuff. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't really miss that if I had to take the backpack. How do I take, can I just take that off? Uh, right click on the ground. How do I take this thing off? I don't know how to take it off. I want to take this backpack off. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoops. Whoa, everything just got out of the backpack right there? I thought everything stayed inside the back. Okay, whatever. I guess I have to put the tire sources back inside of there. That's the power glove. That's not what we need to do inside there. There we go. Zucchinis. We have zucchinis I could eat. But there we go. Look at this thing. This is the power glove. It doesn't have anything installed right now, so it literally can't do anything right now. But uh, we can give it a bunch of different perks here in the future. And it's going to be pretty MLG, but let's put that on and look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at how epic we look. I know in End of Earth, I didn't customize our power armor, like, at all. Like, it was totally default, so we can go to visual. We can, like, change the colors and stuff. Change what kind of helmet is on here. Helmet, tubes, and visor. Tubes, whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa. Wait, what? I don't know what's... Whoa. Whew. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Oh, that's blue. Oh, huh. So there's that helmet. That's kind of a cool helmet. I. That's not bad. What is this? I don't know what all this stuff is. I think this takes it off, right? I kind of like the tubes and visor thing. That was kind of cool. That's kind of dank and banging. So what does that look like now? Oh, whoa, that looks stupid. <laughs> oh my god, that looks stupid. What about the, uh, the armor? Whoa, why is everything, like, so... Can I just, like, have it default, though? I don't know what I just did that made it look so stupid. Uh, that is... Yeah, that's stupid. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at this here in a bit. Let's see, visor, left tube. Why is there, like, a giant square on my face? Can I get rid of that? Can I get rid of it? I don't know. Was that what that was? Uh, no. Was this thing? No, it was this. No, 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 no. What is it? Helmet, tubes. Oh, there you go. Oh, whoa, that's kind of a cool helmet. That's not that. Ooh, I like those tubes, though. I like that. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put all that back on. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's about what we had before. Huh, not bad at all. And, of course, we can customize the color, I believe. So, uh, what is that? That's, uh, is that just, like, bluish color? I don't know. What is that? Yeah, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> all right. Ooh, there's even more. Oh, wait, no, that scrolls down to nothing. <laughs> okay, so... What color should we- leave a comment down below. What should our armor be? Should it be green, so it's like an emerald or something? Or should it be blue, yellow, red? Leave a comment down below, because uh, maybe like, have our chest plate like some other type of armor or something, I don't know. So there you go, I guess we have to rebuild our chest plate. So there you go. Looks kind of weird right now. M3 chests, MPS chest. I don't know, that looks really weird, let's see what that looks like. That looks... Oh, man, there was, there was, like, shoulder pads and stuff on that thing now. Gee, look at that! Wow! And can we do the... Oh, we can do the visual for... Oh, okay, the power fist don't have any visuals. Okay, I guess you could just change the color for it. That's pretty much it, yeah. Okay, whatever. So, what about the boots? Is that it? Just, uh, just regular old boots? And, okay. Okay, that's not bad. What about the pant... Pantaloons, as they're called. <laughs> Apparently, they're just called pantaloons. <laughs> Alright. Let's just rebuild. Yeah, okay, that's not bad at all. All right, and there's our uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. That's not bad. So let's look at all this stuff. So uh, basic battery, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. High efficiency solar generator. That's what we need if we want to just have this thing generate energy from solar. As well as, uh, I think, on the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, on the legs. Yeah, kinetic generator. So whenever you move, you generate energy for the... If you guys didn't know, the this this power armor runs on electricity, it runs on energy, so you need to, you know, put batteries inside of it so it holds energy. 
and can use the energy as well as generate the energy unless you want to just like put this thing inside of a giant battery and charge it every time which is not what we did in end of earth we had a pretty good thermal gen no not a thermal generator that's uh that's from heat uh we had a good kinetic generator yeah 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 that's what we had elite battery so what's that yeah 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 you need the hv capacitor for the elite battery yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good stuff. And of course, we can get the energy shield and the heat sink. That's what we need if we want to go to the nether and not burn up immediately. You'll still burn up in the nether if you have heat, heat sinks and stuff like that, but uh, you won't burn up quite as bad. And uh, the only thing about the diamond plating and stuff is that it's heavy, and the energy shield is pretty good because it's not it's not heavy, but it just consumes energy. So uh, if we want to... Ooh, mechanical assistance? Reduce the effect of weight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get the mechanical assistance thing to get a little bit less weight, but uh, if you guys know about the about modular power suits, they're pretty dank. Auto feeder, of course, of course. I don't have to I don't have to manually eat these baked potatoes anymore. It'll just automatically feed it to me, no problem whatsoever. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be pretty good. And of course, uh, where is it? Right there. Oh wait, yeah, there you go. Jetpack. Of course, we need the jetpack. The ion thrusters. They were really expensive to make in End of Earth. Uh, what are they made out of again? Force field, force field emitters and tesseract frames. God, tesseracts. Jeez, yeah, I totally forgot about those. Yeah, that's the reason why they're ex expensive. We need resonant ender. We need to go to the end to get a bunch of ender pearls. Throw it inside this fluid transposer thing. Fill it up. Fill up a tesseract with them. Make an endearing amount of them. Uh, God. So, we're not going to get jetpack anytime soon. Maybe in the next few episodes. But that's really expensive. We need to go down to the end. We need to get a bunch of ender pearls and all that good stuff. So maybe in an upcoming episode, we can have a little journey where we try and go to the end. Maybe even defeat the ender dragon. Who knows? And uh, yeah, we can go down there and harvest a bunch of ender pearls. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'm going to leave it off right now. And uh, I'll continue working on terraforming the T-Rex expansion over there. But uh, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all for watching. And uh, leave comments down below. What color should my armor be? And what upgrades should we give it? So if you guys know about monster power suits, then, uh, you know, leave comments down below uh, saying, hey, you should add this, you should add that. Uh, you should do this to the power gloves. You should add this to the power glove. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more end of... No, whoa, that... Man, I am so used to seeing this, <laughs> this power suit and saying, oh, thanks for watching End of Earth. But man, that series has been over for like a month. But thank you guys all very much for watching. I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World. Oh, by there. It's a shame you can't see my face in this thing anymore. I really liked having that little fez on top of my hat. I guess I'll, uh... Now oh, there you go. You can see the fez now. Look at that little fez. <laughs> oh, look at Nanny Chicken back there. Oh, Nanny Chicken laid an egg. Nanny Chicken laid an egg. Let's get that egg. We all know what I'm going to do with this egg. Oh, maybe not right now, because we don't have any inventory space. Get rid of those hardened flux ducks. And Nanny Chicken. God... <laughs> Uh, why can't you just hatch a little baby chick whenever I do that there, nanny chicken? Uh.